Hello, church family. As I'm sure you're aware, yesterday Parliament approved the government measures to combat coronavirus and that now in England we are under a second lockdown for the next four weeks. This means that churches and all other places of worship are now closed for, to use the government's language, religious services. And this closure is until the 2nd of December. This means that there will be no Sunday services for the next four Sundays and that will return, God willing, on the 6th of December for our new style of Sunday services and the two separate services at 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Now, I share this with very, very great sadness. It's not something that I take any pleasure in doing at all and actually don't really want to do. Although our services have been very limited in what we've been able to do, we have at least been able to meet and hear God's word together. Now, over the last few days, I've heard from members and friends very diverging opinions as to the rightness of the closure of churches. Some feel very strongly that we should carry on and others that we should not and we should submit to the government position. Now, time doesn't permit me to cover all of that in this video. So there will be a separate video covering those issues if you're interested. But for this video, I want to focus in on the practicalities. During these four weeks, the online ministry will continue. While the building is closed, the church is not closed and the word of God is not shut. So there will be each Sunday morning, a sermon, along with a playlist of songs and readings. The playlist is, will be structured as close as possible to the format of a Sunday service. So with an opening scripture and prayer and songs and different readings, and then the sermon and then a closing song. Yes, there will be Sadly, because that's how YouTube works, interruptions with adverts. But I encourage you to skip them or zone them out and that you'll be able to concentrate on the, the godly content, that is the, the scriptures, the songs and the message, and that you'll be able to meet with God either on your own or if you share a household or with your family uh, in your household, then be able to worship God to sing his praise, to hear his word as a family. Secondly, during these four weeks, as has been throughout these COVID-19 restrictions, there'll be a newsletter each Friday that um, I will send to Helena and then Helena will forward to um, all of you who are on the church mailing list. This will um, keep you updated with the events and also with needs for prayer. Thirdly, uh, please do not hesitate to call. I have here my church mobile, um, as I won't be in the office um, for much of the lockdown, um, then please do call me on the church mobile if you have any needs or send a text message so that I can be alerted um, to those needs. Um, and fourthly, for those without access to the internet, I will continue to send out um, typewritten sermon notes and the newsletter by post. And if there's anybody that you are aware of that's, that would like to receive a, a, a written sermon who's not yet receiving, then again, please do let me know. And then fifthly, and finally, I will continue 
to share a scripture each day, apart from Wednesday and Sunday, along with a few devotional thoughts. I started this at the beginning or near the beginning of the first lockdown and have continued since then. So if you would like to receive uh, the regular scripture and devotional, uh, then please either call or text or email or pop a, pop a comment um, in uh, below this video. Uh, and in the description below the video, I've got a link to the web page where I've been storing um, the devotionals um, going back to March. So you can take a look at those if you would like to. Now, it's a little ironic that this morning in the devotionals, I came to the next scripture in the list I prepared a couple of months ago. And that scripture was Hebrews 10 and verse 25, which says, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Now, how can we do this in lockdown? Let me make a few suggestions. While we can't all worship in the same place, we can come together at a similar time. With us worshipping at home, it's easy to let Sunday go by and not set aside time for worship and God's word. But why not plan to hear God's word and plan as if you were going to go to church under uh, the way it was before uh, coronavirus. So actually log in and check the email and uh, listen to the worship and the word starting round about 11 o'clock each day. And even though we're not worshipping in the same place, we can worship at similar time and you can sit at your computer or your, your phone and listen and worship God, knowing that the church family all around are also doing the same. And perhaps also you can text and encourage one another by what you've sung, by the scriptures you've heard, and by uh, the preaching of the word. So we encourage each other like we would in after service fellowship. Now, just for this Sunday, you might want to start a little bit earlier because this Sunday coming is Remembrance Sunday and the start of the service, online service, is prepared in such a way with a scripture and that, that hymn about God's help in ages past and the hope for years to come, which could then lead you into pausing and reflecting and giving thanks to God for his mercy to our nation and for those who gave their lives in defence of the freedoms that we have. Also, on the theme of encouraging each other from Hebrews 10 and verse 25, we can't meet physically, but we can speak on the telephone, we can send messages, we can even send old-fashioned cards by post to bring encouragement and blessing to one another. I'm conscious I've not spoken to some of you for many months. And I'm sorry about that. It's a, it's a challenge for all of us at this time to maintain those contacts and to keep in touch when some of us are actually busier than we were before lockdown began. But if we all just do a small amount, including myself and the leadership and all of us as members, to make contact, to send a message, to send a scripture to encourage each other, then we will be helping each other through this season until we're able to meet again. And also it's good to be able to pray for one another. And for those of you who are church members, you have a members prayer diary, which enables you to pray for all of the members each uh, once a month there's an allocation for each day and that would be a good thing to do and maybe as you pray you're prompted with a scripture you can then send or call so you can bring encouragement 
to your brothers and sisters. Also, just as I draw this short video to a close, let me say this, none of this is outside of God's sovereign plan. He remains on the throne and he knows what he is doing, even if sometimes it seems our governments don't. So we can trust him and he will bring us through. I will send another announcement ahead of reopening. Until then, may God encourage you with his word each day and each Sunday and Tuesday as the, the services and Bible studies are sent out. And above all, may you know his presence with you and may you grow in him in these days. The Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.